Yo! How's it going, guys? Hey, before we get into today's video, I want to let y'all know over at my podcast, oh yeah, we're giving away a hunt of a lifetime. The drawing for the winner of this hunt will be June, between June 10th and June 15th. It's for Alaska. It is a sea duck and goose hunt of a lifetime for two very, very lucky winners. All you got to do to get entered in this giveaway, y'all, is to go down in the description at the top, hit the podcast link, and join. It's only five bucks a month. And not only do you get awesome hunt giveaways, we're not only doing the Alaska hunt, uh, I just bought the tickets and there are five grand for two of y'all lucky winners. So it's happening, y'all, in September. The hunt will be from September 18th through the 25th, which the 21st is my birthday. So y'all will be there with me. It's a true hunt of a lifetime that I feel very, very privileged to be able to give away to one of y'all. So if you guys are interested, go join the podcast. Uh, we do a lot of awesome content over there that is usually adult oriented. <laughs> Don't wanna lie about it. But let's get into today's video. Oh, well, hi there, Freddy Rico. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what up y'all and welcome back to another one. This is my first time vlogging on this lens. So y'all have to drop a comment right now and let me know if you like it. First test run of this beauty. Whoo, do I have a story for y'all? A long story too. My goodness. Uh, first, I just wanna say thank you to everybody uh, on the last Mallard video, uh, my duck has an issue video for dropping a comment because you helped so, so, so much. I cannot express how grateful I am for your guys' help. While I'm talking here, let's go ahead and feed these darn pigeons um yeah we're gonna need this here in a minute my big lens too i'll tell you why here in a minute oh jordan y'all know jordan my buddy jordan he's got his youtube channel too big bearded jordan <laughs> i put that video up y'all started hounding me saying bob he needs a mate it's spring he wants to mate he thinks that you are his mate. Uh, Y'all were right. Uh, here you go, pigeons. Hi. There you go. There you go. No, there you go. There you go, pigeons. Look at them. Hungry birds. Hungry birds. <sighs> yeah, so Jordan showed up. Not, I shouldn't say out of nowhere yesterday. What was it, yesterday? No, two days ago. He called me and he goes, Bob. Your, <laughs> your duck is H-O-R-N-Y. I'm not gonna say that out loud. Can I help you? And I go, yeah, that's what I figured. He needs a gal. And he's like, yep, I think I got one for you. Lo and behold, uh, Jordan, he did. He had a buddy with a duck, a female, a female white pecking. And I'm sure we will see her here before too long i'm gonna tell you the story of exactly what happened jordan's like okay well if you uh if you want one i'll go ahead and just bring her by right now i already got her in the car and i'm like huh, cool dude he got out of the car right over there where frederick is uh walked right back here he's like all right where's mallard we found him and as you can tell mallard is nowhere to be found out here usually he's at my feet pecking ever since two days ago when we came around this corner <laughs> and jordan let the white female go mallard chased her all the way up this hill pinned her down and yeah you know what happened ever since then they're inseparable and jordan told me he goes bob would you guys have to stick around here? I'm gonna go videotape them. They're at my neighbor's, on my neighbor's pond. Yeah. So getting to that, Jordan goes, Bob, uh, she's gonna be a little, a lot more wild than he is. Old Mallard, he's pretty tame, you know. Uh, she's gonna be wild. I don't know how she, if she'll stick around very well. Well, sure enough, all the way over there. All, right, Frederick? All the way over there 
past those telephone poles in that hole over there. My neighbor has a pond. And I guarantee you that's where they are. They come here, they show up in the evenings, and they hang out right here. See, look, see all the poop? Uh-huh, this is where they sleep at night still. They come over just long enough to get fed, and then they leave. She has changed my mallard. What the heck? I know it's mating season and all, but now she's dragging him. I'm gonna keep filming here all the way across the property, which we're gonna go on my neighbor's property. I'm 100% sure he won't care. Uh, I haven't told my neighbor yet that my two birds are basically living on his pond now. Um, we're gonna hop the fence here. <sighs> These dadgum ducks, I'll tell you what. So they walk all the way over here. I'm trying to find their footprints. They walk back and forth, boom, boom, from house to pond all day, every single day. Let me spot and see if they're on here. It's pretty cute, not gonna lie. I'm happy for Mallard, but we already miss him. Fred, here, 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 heel. Are they down here? There's two honkers. Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay, I'm gonna put on the big lens. Fred, heel, you sit, sit down. I don't want Fred running down there and scaring him. Yep, check it out. Look, Mallard sees me. He's gonna come walking up the hill. <laughs> but that's his new, let me zoom in. That is his new mate right there. She's a wild girl, not gonna lie. <laughs> She's like, Mallard, where are you going? Look, he's already all up here. And check it out, over on the other side of the pond. We got two honkers. Look at that. Oh, there he went. He just landed back in the water. I'm sure they're going to go swimming around together. Yep, I spooked him. But this is Mallard's life now. Not going to lie, I'm happy for him. But we already miss him. I kind of miss him nipping at my heels. And Dallas, Dallas is my neighbor, by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got two new... Uh, renters yeah renting your property here whole oh, love birds little stinkers but i guess if he's happy this little pond last night there were six geese and these two i could not believe it here he comes up the hill again what are you doing mallard let's see what he does Whenever Mallard gets away from her, she just starts quacking. What are you doing, Mallard? Where are you going, Mallard? Now he goes back to the water. He's confused. I can guarantee you. So this is the issue. I can guarantee you Mallard wants to come home. He's always trying to guide her back over here. And now that he sees me, look at him. He wants to come home, but she is not cooperating. Hey, welcome to having a wife, buddy. <laughs> are you going to come home or are you going to turn around and go back? Come on, Mallard. Come on, Mallard. You don't know what to think. You confused, bud? He's probably hungry. Not going to lie. Well, looks like he's gonna stay here for the time being. Look, she's already made friends with the geese. Jeez. Yeah, so number one, they don't really fly. Mallard flies a couple feet off the ground. Here at the house, um, he could get up around the house underneath an awning in his actual duck cage and he was safe. What I'm worried about Number one, lost another pet to the neighbor. Don't want to lose any more pets. Y'all know that I have had really bad luck uh, with coyotes and stuff of that nature. So with Mallard being over there, I'm really, really 
uh, worried that he's gonna get picked off. There's a lot of hawks around, a lot of eagles around, and a lot of dogs around. And so, in the middle of that pond, he would be pretty safe, except for hawks and flying predators. But now, all we got, all we got is the chickens. That's all we got. The dogs and the chickens. With that pond being over there, I can guarantee you, Mallard ain't ever gonna come back and live back at home. Plus, and, and check it out, this is even what Beth did. We've been doing everything we can. Last night I finally got them both up at the back of the house and I fed, that was the first time we've actually fed her. I don't have a name for the female duck. You all gotta drop a comment down below and let's go ahead and name the white female duck. Mama, she came out and put the pool back here. The pool must not contend with the pond. But good work, Mama. Good work. We don't want to lose our duck. We love Mallard. He's cool. Except for the last month where he's been literally gnawing at our tootsies. I like having him a little wild, you know? But literally the only option is to, for the third time, redo our duck and chicken pen so they can't get out. Seems like everything we do, they still find a way to get out. I shouldn't have used the soft fencing, that's for sure. Y'all told me to. But if y'all have a great idea about what I should do to get these ducks back on my property, other than digging a pond, believe me, I've been talking to the neighbor. Uh, he has a huge excavator. Speaking of which, I'm going to be uh, uploading the lodge update video. And it's not just over the lodge, it's the new project I got going on and y'all don't want to miss it it's pretty cool i'm very very excited about it but y'all gotta drop a comment down below what can i do to get the ducks back over here the kids miss them i miss the ducks mama obviously misses the ducks already i was complaining about them now i miss him but guys don't forget i, I know this is a short video but i wanted to give you a duck update you guys have been really worried about old mallard so but guys like i said uh, the podcast giveaway for the Alaska hunt. Y'all have to get joined up on the podcast. Go over there. It's only five bucks a month. Uh, if you have the five bucks a month, cool. If you don't, great too. You don't have to go complaining at me that it costs money. It's not a podcast that is uh, on iTunes and stuff. It's my own area where Bobby can be Bobby. And it kind of eliminates a lot of the young crowd from hearing me use foul language and all that stuff. So thank you all for joining the podcast. If you want to get signed up for the Sand Hill giveaway, we're giving away a hunt here for this coming season. And in Alaska, get joined up over there at Patreon. Uh, the podcast is always linked at the top of the description, y'all. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. A lot of great videos to come. Uh, we're going to be rebuilding my little duck boat the uh the garage sale one. Oh yeah and we're going pigeon hunting really 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 soon but thank y'all for being here until next time i've been getting laid back baby you should know that i don't need your criticism pessimism